Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday encouragement. I hope you're having a great week. Oh, what's been the most striking thing to you about the Olympics this year, if you've been watching them? Think about that, and we'll come back to that in a moment. But I want to let you know about some of the things going on at Cherry Avenue Christian Church. It's great seeing more and more people rejoining us in person on Sundays, and we hope if you haven't, you'll be able to soon. And if you can't, please make sure to take part in our church-wide time of prayer at 9.30 on Sunday mornings as we pray as one from wherever we are. If you need a prayer guide, there's one on the website that you can download. Uh, there's power in prayer, and we hope you'll join us as we pray together. The Silver Chords Choir started back. Uh, they practice Mondays at 11 a.m., so if you love to sing, we hope you'll come and be a part of that. They have a lot of fun and enjoy the music together, and we encourage you to, to join them for that on Mondays at 11. Ladies, the Thelma Carter Circle is having its picnic next Monday, August 9th. Uh, the band's going to leave the church at 5.30 p.m. It's always a great evening, and I hope you'll be able to, to join them for that next Monday. And the Fall Ladies Retreat at Blessings Lodge is set for October 15th and 16th. Had to cancel last year because of COVID, but it's back, and we're really happy about that. The cost is $70, which includes your room, meals, and all of the activities. There are registration forms at the information desk, and we encourage you to get registered as soon as possible for that. Well, how many of you have been watching the Olympics? I don't know how much of it is the time difference or the impact of politics on the games or the lack of fans in the stands, but I haven't really watched as much of it this year as I usually do. I've watched some of the baseball and the golf and the rugby. Uh, it's been cool seeing some UVA basketball players playing in the Olympics, even though they're playing for different countries. What I really like is watching the interaction between the athletes. Isaiah Jewett recently won a national championship running track at USC, but his dream was an Olympic medal. Sunday night, he was running in the semifinal heat of the 800 meters and was poised to make his move on the couple of runners ahead of him when a runner behind him tapped his heel and he fell. And in that split second, as his body crumbled to the asphalt, his Olympic dream for that event was over. Nigel Amos from Botswana, who had accidentally clipped Jewett, fell on top of him and hit the track as well. I'm sorry, Amos said, and Jewett responded, let's just finish the race, man. The two men helped each other up and they jogged the rest of the way with Amos allowing Jewett to finish just ahead of him. You have to love the sportsmanship Jewett displayed. He had been working countless hours to train to be there for that moment. And because of someone else's mistake, he was done. And that dream was over. And yet he handled it with grace. And the other thing that struck me is that even though he couldn't win, he was still determined to finish the race. Every one of us gets knocked down at different times by different things. Your company may have been hit hard by COVID and you may have lost your job. Or maybe you've had an illness that's put you down. Maybe someone has betrayed you. Maybe it's an addiction you've been struggling with. You're going to get knocked down. Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble. It's all about how you handle it. Do you just quit or do you finish the race? Do you get up? And do you keep moving forward? Jesus didn't just promise us that we'd have trouble in this world. He promised help. He said, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. One of the reasons God put the church here is for us to be his hands and his feet to help each other up when we fall so that we can finish the race together. And with God, it doesn't matter if you don't finish in first place. What matters is that you finish, that you stay faithful. And that's why he urges us not to give up meeting together because you never know who you'll be able to help keep moving forward to the finish line by your encouragement. The Apostle Paul wrote, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith, and now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearing. 